question. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, be careful with the answer. No, I said you could drop an F bomb if you wanted. Okay, I heard you do one. Did I do, do one? I, do I? Can I do one? You could do one, one, and okay. you might do one on this next question. This oh, is God, a good. Here we question. go. All right, let me. <laughs> and then don't let me forget, you guys, because I want to give uh, all our listeners um, your name and your contact information. Because I know if I love you and trust you with my business and my contracts and my money and my safety, because it is it is a thing of safety. I think a lawyer saves your ass, keeps you safe. Um, I feel all those things about you. I think everybody else will too. So I, that. I you're you're um, yeah. I, I'm I'm referring you <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate to that. everybody. Very high praise. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll post all your information for that. Um, so, okay, last question. Okay, so I what? I, know what you're <laughs> I, I, I got feel it. Because I've done this, Gina. I will admit it. I did it when I was, you know, not as, as educated in these things. And when I was like, fuck that. I'm not spending that much money on a lawyer. You yeah. know, I went to the legal online platforms. I don't know mm -hmm. if we can mention them, but you know, like the legal yeah, zooms yeah. and the le mm -hmm. there's lots of legal things online. There are. There are. Rocket and Lawyer. Rocket that, Lawyer. Yeah. yeah, all these things. I did that mm -hmm. years and years ago. How um, did it go? Well, it's it. You know, it's more generic and um, and trying to get questions answers because, like I said, I'm a manic thinker, so I end up with a lot of questions and. It it wasn't it wasn't for me it wasn't for me um, but so what's so what, as a lawyer <laughs> what's your take on those is it okay in some some instances like for something really super general or maybe that's not that important I don't know is there a time when it, it it's okay and or just what are your thoughts I I'm mean gonna... I the thing that's frustrating to lawyers about services like LegalZoom and Rocket Lawyer is that they are marketed as if there are lawyers that are involved and like you're getting a lawyer who is handling this for you and you're paying you know a highly discounted rate right it's robots and it's artificial intelligence and it's nobody who is sitting down going what are your goals for the company so even like forming an llc Mm -hmm. There's probably six major decisions that go into forming an LLC, which type it is, how you form it, all these kinds of things. And people will check boxes randomly when they form it themselves on Silver Flume. Right. Or they'll do it, which is our Nevada Secretary of State's online portal uh, for anybody who's not in Nevada. <clears throat> but what happens is they, they'll check this box and then we get the documents. And we're like, well, why'd you check that box? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, well, you check that box. That means you can't pull any money out of the company for 10 years. Did you know that? Yeah. And they're like, no. Okay, yeah. well, now we have to go fix it. Right. So, and truthfully, like, I'll admit, I I was guilty of that myself. I knew somebody when I was starting my very first company. I knew somebody whose husband was a lawyer. I called him up. He wanted to charge me. I didn't know what number. I didn't have a number in my head that I was anticipating him saying. So I didn't have, and I didn't have anything to compare it to. So it didn't matter what number came out of his mouth. It was already too much. Right. And I was like, screw this guy. I'm not doing this. I'm going to figure out how to do it on my own. And then I ended up paying a CPA 10 times the money to try to fix what I had created from like a tax perspective. So I'm the, po like I'm the poster child for that. It's, right. I did it. I don't recommend it. And it's not, there's not a brain behind the questions. Yeah. And like people go, oh, well, I did my, did, downloaded my operating agreement from, I mean, the operating agreement, I just went through it with a client day before yesterday. It took us two and a half hours to go through and to make the decisions and everything. And yeah. And it's hard enough to make those decisions when you're starting a company because you got to look into a crystal ball that doesn't exist. Right. Well, and six months down the road, things might change. Well, you don't even understand. You don't even understand the different translate. Yeah. You don't even understand like LLC versus this versus that. What type of corp, a C corp of this or that. You don't even right. understand what you should be right. uh, checking and what the consequences of each choice mm -hmm. may be right down the road. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and and that and and so, and so you don't like online services. So I don't <laughs> like online services, but I will say like if you go to and you have a conversation with a lawyer and a CPA and you get the plan and you want to execute the plan with LegalZoom, kind of like knock yourself out, I guess. But then the thing that that makes me mad about LegalZoom is for years until the Nevada Secretary of State made steps two and three the same step, so you couldn't do step two without doing step three. 
LegalZoom would only do step one and not tell you. So we uh. had people coming to us going, we don't know why our entities are in default because they didn't do step two and step three because they didn't, because LegalZoom only charged them $99 to form an LLC. Right. So we're like, well, the letter they sent you afterwards, you had to go do this and this and this. So that's the kind of stuff. It feels like there's too much hiding of the ball with that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And I think that that was, I said that earlier when you asked me, well, how was your experience? And it was like, I just didn't get the attention that I needed. I wasn't getting my question answers. And now it makes sense right. because it was a bot. It's a bot. Yeah. And I didn't realize it was a bot I because you, you do. I thought, yeah, it's an attorney. Mm-hmm on the other end of that computer, like they just hire, like, you know, they hired out like a bunch of attorneys maybe to work in their off time to answer questions right. and, and do that, you know, for, the, for these online services. Yeah. But now I know it's a bot. I didn't know that. Yeah, Cause they, f- they have you fill out the form right. and we use something similar for just for expediency purposes, right. fill out this form, but we look at it and go, okay, are you sure you want to do a member managed LLC versus a manager managed LLC? Mm-hmm. Does it make sense? How many partners are you going to have? Is it, do you know how much money you're going to be generating? Right. You know, and I just had a call with somebody who apparently legal zoom. And I just heard the Super Bowl commercial that they do nonprofits. I'm like, there is so much that goes into forming a nonprofit <laughs> that it is bananas to think that you could do that online. Yeah. Right. Well, I know, I know. And, it, and it's like, I just ask a physician when they, when you go to the doctor and you're like, Oh, I have this like weird thing on my Well, they have on demand doctors like, now, you know? Well, no, but then they, people go to WebMD. Yeah. WebMD. Which should just be renamed. You are dying.com like because eventually <laughs> once you get to the end of your search that will be the diagnosis that's that's funny oh my god well geez i'm really glad you came on that was really yeah, interesting yeah did you have fun yeah yeah so um will you tell everybody so gina bon jovi gina bon jovi b o i'll be like this is four-year-old gina ready b is in boy o n is in nancy g is in george i o v like victor i so yeah. gina at bon jovi law.com i'm lawyer gina on twitter um uh, our phone number is 702-485-1200. Yeah. Um, we also have a number of articles on our website, on our blog that are like, one is how to start a business in Las Vegas, which seems counterintuitive. Like, why would I tell you how to right. do it? But there's lots of blog articles on there. So if you have questions, like go on, use the search function, see if you can get some questions answered because I do go through a lot of LLC versus corporation, things right. like that, Right. um, that you can do some homework on it. That's not so. Yeah intimidating or right yeah and um and then on youtube we're gonna pin all your information okay. to uh, on the first comment with all your information a link to your website and if anybody if you you know if if you missed her contact information they can always uh message me here at girls inc mm-hmm. say hey what was that girl <laughs> lisa what was that broad's, Le- name? <laughs> broad's name again that lawyer girl that you were talking to the other day so they can always message us and um we'll get them in touch with you so um thank you for coming on today i really appreciate it yeah, so take time out of your day it's saturday of course are you going out tonight i am where are you going i'm going uh, a friend of mine's uh husband is the lead singer in a band called empire records empire records they're playing at sunset station sunset station okay because cat and i you know we we you know we hit we hit the streets you know <laughs> we do we're going to a mexican restaurant tonight it's up in Summerlin. I can't remember the name of it, but we've been dying to go there. El Dorado? Uh, in Tivoli? I, yes, El, El Dorado, Dorado in Tivoli. That's where we're going. We're going yeah. with another it's artist, amazing. friend yeah. of ours. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. We're so excited. It's I'm amazing. so excited. So yeah, that's where we're going tonight. And we like live music too. Oh, nice. So we see a ton of live music and rock shows. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So that's that was probably what sucked the most about COVID is I just really oh, miss live know. music so much. I know. Yeah, my first live show after COVID was One Republic. Oh wow! Yeah, nice. and I cried. <laughs> being in the in the experience. Yeah, being in the fucking just so like long. like Kat looked at me. She goes, "Are you crying?" I'm like, no. She goes, "You're crying." I'm like, I get, <laughs> I'm just I was just so fucking happy. I was like, <laughs> I'm like live music, and it's yeah. like One Republic, and I just looking around, and people still had masks on, but I didn't give a shit. It was like we're just in just live music in the, again. Yeah, and just things, it just felt like things. Okay, things. They're starting to get back to normal to when there's li- live music and yeah. live shows. Because we're a city of live music and shows. Yeah. I mean, this is what our city... I've been here 28 years. I wasn't born here, but my best friend, Ro Valente, was born here. Oh, nice. Yes, but I've been here 28 years. I will never leave. They'll bury me 
here. <laughs> uh, I love Las Vegas. This is definitely my home. It's a great city and I, I love it so much. I have yeah. so much to be grateful for. When I talk about Las Vegas, I can get flocklumped and get all teary too because <laughs> the city means a lot to me. So yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me today. And um, just a reminder to check us out on YouTube and to like and follow our episodes, follow our channel, Tatter of Fact. Your likes and follows mean a whole lot to us. And if you like streaming only, then you can check us out on Spotify, Podcast Addict, Buzzsprout, and what's the other one? Apple. Apple. Thank you, Olivia. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. And remember, stay in vigilant pursuit of happiness, everybody. And we'll see you next time.